Thanks again for checking in as we take a look at your national coast to coast forecast. The meteorologist Todd Nelson, and it's much quieter than tropics, thankfully, after a third longest stretch of uh, named storm days in the Atlantic Basin. We had almost 38 days where there is a named storm in the Atlantic Basin, which is pretty remarkable. So things have quieted down since then. We're talking about some snow in the west and uh, also some heavy rain in the central U.S. But uh, there is one wave of energy that has a low probability of tropical formation as that lifts to the north here just east of the Yucatan Peninsula. But we don't see Maria. Lee is gone. And of course, uh, Jose is gone. But we are looking at maybe a little bit of shower and thunderstorm activity in the southeast from Florida to the Gulf Coast region. This is where we could have some pretty decent rainfall tallies, especially in uh, Miami and Key West. Maybe some one to two plus inch rainfall tallies there. So we head over to the eastern Pacific. We have a uh, high probability of tropical formation uh, with a wave of energy drifting west, uh, west of the Central America uh, region, south of uh, Mexico. So we'll continue to watch that. Meanwhile, our winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings continue for Montana and then also into the Central Rockies. Could be talking 6 to 12 inches of snow, mainly in the mountains, but even dealing with some snow out in the plains. And of course, this is what it looks like. A very chilly air mass here, but this uh, snow is going to continue as we head into the next couple of days, starting to wrap up a little bit more on uh, Wednesday there. Out ahead of that, a chance for some strong showers and storms. In fact, we have a marginal threat from east of Denver all the way to Minneapolis. And as you head into the Midwest from near Minneapolis to the Arrowhead, we actually have a flash flood watch where uh, widely scattered showers and storms will be breaking out again later today. And then continuing through early Tuesday, total amounts of rain within this particular area could be approaching one to two plus inch tallies. So again, a pretty decent amount of rain coming up. Temperatures though still very summer-like as you head into the central and southern U.S.